So in this question, we have a lunar probe and we have an audio signal being modulated to 2 gigahertz and transmitted 380,000 kilometers. So just as an illustration, this is Earth, that's the moon, that's the probe, that's our transmitter, and that's our signal. So the first question, what's the baseband bandwidth of the message signal? So we're asking about the original signal. And the original signal is our 3 kilohertz. So that's our baseband bandwidth. It's the highest frequency contained in the original signal. So the baseband bandwidth is the 3 kilohertz. This is before modulation. This is the actual transmission that's being sent. So it's an audio signal. So the bandwidth of a baseband signal is the highest frequency contained. So the spectrum of the audio signal might look something like this, where here you have 3 kilohertz. So that would be your bandwidth from 0 to your highest frequency. Part B says, what's the band pass wavelength? So by band pass, we're talking about after modulation. So we're talking about the wavelength of the signal that's actually transmitted towards the moon. So we're talking about the modulated signal. So we're now looking at this 2 gigahertz. So to calculate the wavelength, you would simply divide the speed of light divided by the frequency. So you have 3 times 10 to the power 8 divided by 2 times 10 to the power 9. So you get 3 over 20, 0 0.15, which is 15 centimeters. So that's the wavelength. Part C says, what's the approximate antenna size at both the transmitter and the receiver? So at the receiver and at the transmitter. How big is the actual antenna? Now, if we say that the antenna size is proportional to the wavelength, we can say it's roughly in the order of one quarter of the wavelength. It can be smaller, it can be larger. In practice, it'll be much larger because there'll be um, there'll, there'll need to be a large reflector dish in order to generate the necessary power to get it across 380,000 kilometers. But the actual, the actual transmitting element, the actual um, component in the antenna or dipole, is in the order of one quarter of a wavelength. It could be as small as one tenth of the wavelength. So we're talking about in the order of four centimeters. We're talking about 15 centimeter wavelength. Part D asks for the time required for a signal to travel from the transmitter all the way to the moon. What's the time required? So to find the time, you simply divide the distance by the speed. So you have 380 times 10 to the power 3, and it says kilometers, so you're multiplying by 10 to the power 3 again to convert to meters. 3 times 10 to the power 8, and the answer is 1.2 seconds. So that's your final answer.